as the government, you know, tries to improve in, you know, collecting more tax revenues uh, across the country, where is the voice of the citizen? Where is the voice of the taxpayer? What we do is that we try to create awareness on the health right, both at the community and the, uh, at the national level. Marriage Talk uh, is uh, one of the biggest organizations uh, in family planning and the uh, SRH across the country. We are able to showcase and give credibility as an organization in our terms of what we are doing to address poverty and we are also able to have a basis upon which to engage government and other decision makers. So you have a simple division like 4 divided by 2, 6 divided by 2, or, or even a 2 divided by 2. But then a class A child who has been in the school for 8 years cannot answer that simple mathematics. These leading organizations are involved in key thematic areas of development that contribute to poverty eradication in East Africa, that is health and education. With programs funded by the William and Flora Hewlett Foundation, Globally, over 1 billion people live in absolute poverty and 500 million chronically poor people lack choice and control in their lives, while 300 million worldwide are vulnerable to humanitarian crises, all despite the fact that enough resources exist to prevent these things happening. Extreme and chronic poverty is a reality in many developing countries, Kenya and Uganda included, and many stakeholders are synergizing their efforts in a bid to eradicate it. Understanding data and translating it into useful and meaningful information for engagement remains a major challenge. For over 20 years, development initiatives has worked towards eradicating extreme and chronic poverty. The Africa Hub in Nairobi provides a regional perspective to DI's work and gives better information as being a fundamental tool to improve policies and influence the allocation of resources to address chronic and extreme poverty in the region. Our main uh, focus is on analysis uh, of information, data, uh, for poverty eradication. Uh, we do that uh, looking at resources in particular, uh, resources uh, which are generated um, at national level, which are budgets or domestic resources. We do it at global level, uh, which looks at uh, resources coming in as aid. Access to and understanding of poverty-related information and statistics remains key to development planning. DI believes that transparent and accessible information can play a key role in making all resources more effective and in enhancing choice, security and opportunity for the world's poorest people. Any development objective uh, should be aiming to deal with poverty. A key gap um, is not so much to do with the uh, day-to-day uh, -day activities that people are involved in. Uh, on the contrary, it's uh, to do with the information that people use uh, to make critical decisions, whether at household, uh, community, sub-national, national or even global levels. Access to information also empowers the citizens to hold the government donors and service providers accountable. The whole concept behind access uh, to information uh, is the simplification of data, complex data, uh, that is generated either at the national level through budgets, um, uh, multilateral organizations, development partners, and national level civil society organizations. Um, for this to be effective in transforming people's lives, it cannot remain at the national level. Uh, it has to be simplified. So information has to, data and information has to be simplified and of course channeled uh, to the lower level organizations.
Unfortunately, many institutions are faced with lack of capacity to access, analyze data, and effectively use information to engage with citizens and influence policy decisions. This includes those that work at the community level. Uh, we shared with, uh, with, with the DEI some of the gaps that we had as an organization uh, in the areas of, for example, uh, data analysis. You know, uh, as much as we can be able to capture some of this data, but when it came to analysis, uh, report writing and, and, you know, drawing some of uh, uh, the key issues from the report, it, it became a real challenge for us. Apart from just information being made available, organizations are not able to analyze that information and interpret and utilize the findings. In order to address this gap, development initiatives through the Aid Info and Infotech programs in East Africa, funded by the Hewlett Foundation, has been since 2012 supporting CSOs and other key stakeholders in Kenya and Uganda to access, analyze, and effectively use information through a capacity development program. Uh, the Hewlett Foundation um, approached us as an organization um, and their main interest was that uh, they have partners whom they fund in East Africa particularly as a starting point. Uh, they fund these partners in health and education. Um, and at the time uh, from their conversations with these partners, they identified uh, several gaps, uh, key of which uh, is the use of information uh, to engage. So the main challenge uh, before was that it was a bit difficult bringing the media on board because you realize also uh, for the visibility of the organization, you need media people on board so that they can always communicate what you do and ensure that people get to know what is happening in terms of your programs. Some of our designs were informed by how the donor will want us to report. The DI, Aid Info and Infote programs work to enable people to gain access to and use information about aid and other poverty reduction resources, all aimed at supporting efforts to hold governments, donors and service providers to account and thereby increasing the effectiveness of those resources. We the number of girls enrolled in tertiary schools. We have three assumptions. DI's capacity development has been achieved through training programs that address cross-cutting challenges among the partner organizations in health and education, but also mentoring and working through partnerships with the individual organizations to resolve challenges unique to them and to entrench the skills acquired beyond training. Throughout the program, DI has emphasized and encouraged collaboration and networking among the partners and with others, including policymakers, government agencies, community focused organizations, and media, among others. Uh, one of the critical areas that we have not done is uh, disseminate information to the media. And I know at Chemichemi we have a lot of information that if we use the skills, if I used, I used the skills that I gained here, uh, we would have a lot of information that we would distribute to the media to inform even the larger population. So I think it was a very useful training as well. I attended a training in access data and data analysis and our main focus was on Excel. So uh, first of all was to understand how to organize that. Uh, you could have several fields of information but presenting it in an organized manner could be a challenge, so that was the first uh, skill that I got, that if I have several information, how can I put it like in a tabular form and present it for somebody else to have a quick preview uh, of the information that I have. And uh, DI I uh, attended two trainings. One was on budget analysis, where we were just looking at how to identify budget lines, both in national budget, but also in development budgets where EU funds or other countries funds what we call the ODI, and we're able to acquire budget analysis skills, how to identify resources, especially from the OECD data, which is the international data, on how budgets are given to developing countries. And we're able to, of course, apply the skills in doing our budget analysis as an organization. So the, the training which we attended was on strategic communication, and uh, we were trained on how to engage with the media how to write uh, articles, press release, policy briefs and also social media. We learned uh, a lot of skills in using Excel, 
we learned a lot of skills in using SPSS, we learned a lot of skills in using Stata, and uh, to the extent that uh, I got very much surprised that uh, my skills in Excel were ideally very low. I thought Excel is just an analytical package that you can simply just do some calculations, additions and subtractions. I've been able to attend one of their training that was focusing on data analysis reporting for impact reporting where we were able to explore different designs, program designs which included um, theories of change, issues of uh, uh, result-based frameworks, log frames that we can use in program design that will eventually uh, help you come up with indicators that you'll be able to track and collect data around analyze and be able to report the kind of impact you are making. The key focus was to, again, beyond the trainings, to work with the individual organizations uh, and, and see how best uh, we could resolve challenges that are unique uh, to the different organizations. DI uh, came in um, at the right time, I would say, when the project was starting, first of all, and you know, in the course of the project, we had a lot of mentorship and a lot of capacity building uh, from the DI, which really enabled the project to actually become a success. We didn't want to start something new. Uh, we wanted to engage and support ongoing initiatives, um, only plugging in the holes or the gaps uh, that we felt would then uh, scale up the effective use of information. We had already completed our, our, what, our work plan and proposal with the Population Action International and it had been confirmed that we will be doing a research to investigate the amounts or uh, the, yeah, the amount that the government of Kenya had invested towards family planning programs. Uh, I would say that DI came in uh, key to provide mentorship, for example, in, on, uh, on uh, which documents to, uh, to look at and which documents to procure and also maybe people to target in the ministry who would be key uh, in terms of what you were trying to research on. The main purpose of the Capacity Development Programme is to work voluntarily with CSOs in Kenya and Uganda and other key stakeholders to increase access to and the use of information to promote better decisions on resource allocation in order to achieve poverty reduction. Uwezo, as you may know, is a Kiswahili word meaning capability. So um, we uh, strive to find out uh, or to get information about literacy and numeracy levels of children aged 6 to 16 across the country. So we enter data on a, a software that is visual basic and which is uh, then transferred to access. If I, if I was to present this information in a simpler a form, I learned how to do tables and uh, pie charts and, 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 uh, and graphs to represent uh, information. Previously, I would still have my information in, in tables, but not uh, critically think of what should come first and what should come last in terms of usability. The partners have applauded this program and cited how it has impacted positively on their work. They appreciated that their capacity had been enhanced and that through the effective use of information, their impact is now more visible. Sometimes understanding budgets was a bit difficult because there is what we call off-budget, on-budget support. There is the NGO support that doesn't come through government. So mostly when you check donors and the money they are giving, you'd think, you'd find that they're giving quite a bit of money, but government tells you the only one that comes to us is half. The other one goes either to NGOs or to other private organizations. So in advocacy now we have the real data, we have the real evidence. So if it's 10 billion, we tell government, we know 20 billion came, but 10 was to government, 10 was to NGOs. Most importantly, they acknowledge that they have caught the attention of key policymakers to address various development challenges in their sectors. Uh, engaging the media, for instance, during the launch, ensuring that those media people come and they talk on what you really want them to say. So we were able to do a media roundtable uh, briefing first, one day before the actual launch. And then the following day now we did the launch, which was, um, we had media bus or uh, big media coverage. Uh, we had over 16 media radio stations and TV and also print 
uh, citing about Uezo and also talking about Uezo and also BBC reporting on Uezo findings that children are schooling but they are not learning. I believe it was good because also uh, that was Tuesday and on that day we had uh, the parliamentarians talking about Uezo. I was so impressed because when we launched our school report card in uh, December of uh, 2013, uh, you know, the report was uh, the, the report was uh, reported in almost all the you know uh, t TV stations, most of the FM stations, and for me, the biggest uh, takeaway was uh, you know the report was analyzed for almost a month you know in, in uh, print media. And for me, I think that was uh, a great takeaway. Significant progress has been realized in the achievement of MDGs globally. However, beyond 2015, accelerated progress on poverty elimination and sustainable development requires more than effective delivery of services. We are trained in analyzing the budgets. We are trained in uh, being able to train communities to understand these uh, budgets and be able to demand accountability from their elected leaders. With the support of DI, we were able to train uh, communities in Migori, and they come, came up with their own proposals, what they want to see in the budget 2014-2015. So our mandate at Negric is to address simple behavior change. For example, replacing kerosene which is a fossil fuel with renewable energy, like say solar, or advisory on use of other systems like efficient cookstoves, use of biogas, use of wonder bags, and so on and so forth. Ini jiko. Lakini naka maridadi tu, lakini ujue inapika. Kitumia hii inaitwa wonder bag, ya? Unapika chakula nusu. Isiive ati kabisa. Alafu unafungia hapa, unaacha labda masa matatu, itakuwa imeiva. Uh, we've had many forums where we, we try to engage the community in behavior change in our subjects and access to information. We, we have uh, books and other infrastructure in place where the community can come and uh, access information. That's our main core. But the information we really focus on is um, on climate change for poverty eradication element. DI believes through experience and available evidence, the post-2015 settlement must harness the power of technology and information to empower citizens with choice and control over the decisions that impact their lives. It is possible to eliminate extreme and chronic poverty by the international set deadline of 2030. Is development initiatives up to the task? Beyond 2015, beyond the MDGs, uh, there is quite a global discussion now uh, looking at how to do better development in the future. Now, within that discussion, uh, mention has been made uh, of the data revolution uh, as one of the things that need to be done. We interpret this to mean uh, the revolution on information and how that information is accessed, analyzed and used. Uh, that this is an area where we're going to contribute uh, tremendously, partly because of the experience that we've gained working with other uh, organizations, um, uh, uh, especially at different levels, sub-national, national and regional. Poverty eradication goes beyond the use of data and information. Anyone who seeks to address poverty has to also show that indeed what they are doing is creating impact or is effective on creating impact. And there's no way you can do that without showing evidence. And there's no way you can show evidence without giving data. How was the situation before you came in? What did you do? And how is it different from what you found on the ground? DI has built our capacity to be able to know before you start a program, what are the basic information? What is the baseline information you need to have or collect? 
At the DI Africa Hub, ongoing initiatives through various work streams including access to information funded through the Aid Info and InfoTech programs, development financing, poverty risk, vulnerability and extractives and natural resources all point to progressive work in responding to the needs of local and regional African stakeholders and to expedite the end of poverty not just in Africa but globally. We want to, to develop uh, working models, uh, some kind of a working model, uh, which uh, then could be used by others um, to see how to develop capacities in different types of, uh, uh, of, of, of circumstances.